So a little update on my pond here. Just want to show you this. I uh, stacked in some logs in here. Try and raise this side because the water's slowly starting to fill this up. And I also increased the height over there to give myself another foot or two. So that's going to make sure that the water ensures that the water goes up on that flat and goes up on this flat. Now I need a lot more work to do an embankment here, but I'll worry about that next time. That just allows me to pretty much ensure that I won't have to be here right away because we got a lot of heavy rain coming uh, in the coming days. So the pond's actually starting to fill. So what I've been doing is I've been taking this berm here and slowly packing it in. And I, these logs here, took some uh, this dirt from here and I packed that in. I walk along here, I'm gonna show you improvements that I'm doing. Eventually, all this dirt, all this in here is gonna be picked up, put into a wheelbarrow and wheeled all the way around and then backfilled into, into that area right there. So as I walk along, you're gonna see how things have filled up, how I've utilized this berm. See, I've taken it down quite a ways and I've pushed it in a little bit and I've lifted this up and I lifted this up. So now this seemingly high point over here is actually gonna be a perfect round. Uh, right there you can see a frog just jumped in the water. Anyway, uh, yeah, frogs have just, uh, they're like, they think this is the freaking Todd, this is the freaking best they can have. They're on Spa Central. So, anyway, this has uh, been backfilling this. And then this ditch here you see right here, actually, this ditch right here, that is eventually going to be a spillway. I'm going to do a, a spillway down through. I'm going to put in a, a culvert. The culvert will go across this little road and drop out there. So that's what I want to do here. You can see my pond's definitely filling up and getting wider. Uh, I've increased this side. You can see that it used to be just a rock. Well, I lifted it. Now I have it up higher. So now I have at least the room to at least get two more feet of water. And then we're going to work with it depending upon how far we get. I'd like to get to the top of here. And I'd like to get water up in at least up into about there. So we'll see how that works out. I'm gonna walk here with you. walk here with me. Sorry, a little jiggly little camera because I didn't put it on the tripod. So last night we got a quarter inch of rain. So I've added these sticks here because eventually I want to bring this piece right here up and out farther. And I like to get as close to the tree as possible. And the reason for that is because I want to put in a, a, a duck box up here. So that's kind of the, you know, a wood duck box would be great. So here's a, I took all these logs that was in this dam and I put them here. And I backfilled this and now that's going to allow this area to build, to get up higher. So now I can get up that two foot that I need. See, I still have quite a bit more to work on, and but for now, this will this will work for me till I get the uh, till I get more water, and then we're gonna see how it goes. So just keep lifting it and twisting it and adjusting it, and it's quite a bit of water now. It's uh, pretty cool looking at all this water on here, and I took this. Uh, out from here and I moved it to here and now that gives me a dock of sorts that I can stand on and put my chair here and enjoy the sunset over the water so anyway Pete from Intricate Nature here and I want to show you what we what I accomplished here and what how things have changed a little bit and how it's going just another step stay with me and I'll show you more progress She's nice and round. Looking forward to filling up the rest of the way. All right, so I'm gonna show you a little update here. You can see the ice right there. That was the level of the ice. 
that was the level of the water. But last night we had a huge system come from the west coast to the east coast and it filled all this extra water in all the way up to this rock here. So the water is just about all in right there. And it's rising at this point, part way up the rock as you can see. Uh, we're gonna see how it goes, but it definitely lifted all the ice up. You can see that back corner back here. That's where I want it to be a spillway right down in there. So I think it's gonna work. I think it's gonna get about the right height there. I'm gonna need to do a little bit of more backfilling work back in here. And uh, gotta backfill a little here. But I think we're good as far as this bank goes. This right there may need to lift a little bit, so I may need a little more, more fill in that area, but I'd like to get it to the top. It's gonna go a little big there, but oh well. So where those big rocks are, I'm gonna infill some clay over the top and I'll help keep the liner go down and then when the water gets up, I'd like to have clay over that area there. I just want to show you is got this log here. All the way out to there is my root structure. And I want to take this root and I want to put it out in the pond. So let's see if I get the camera there. So before I put it out there, I don't want this bottom freaking poking at holes out there in the middle. So I doubled it up with some carpet foam. I think I'm even going to triple it. And wrapping this up along the edge. heavy. Now sinking. And I could just tie this off. Lumber tarp. That would give me a way to have a uh, protected end and also allow for little animals to get into the pond in and out. Because right now, water's up. I just redid this whole embankment over here on the other side over here. And now I'm allowed not getting our 12 inches of water out of it. But it's pretty full, so I wanted a log that goes out in the water, allows an animal to go out and get a drink. So that's what this log is for. And I just don't want to poke a hole when I'm doing it. Probably should wait till spring since it's January. Where I can get out in the pond. I don't have to get in my underwear. Get that knife put away. Now I have a place pretty well set up for dirt to go in there. I built the bank to the edge. I just want to stick it out here. So I'm going to put it up in there, use my legs to lift, and drop this out of the way. My pants up.
I think it'll get lighter when it gets in the water. Oh, dirt in my eye. Hate that. Well, I wrapped it all the way around. Looks like it might roll. A giant cushion down there in the end. Good, that's good. What I'm doing today is I'm working on this bankment, making sure the water's set up so that I got a good freaking bankment and the water comes up to here. Well, it looks like that's it. This has got to come up here a little bit yet. So that's what I'm going to work on now. I'm going to backfill this. See how I got the logs, like a beaver dam, crisscrossed. Anyway, let me show you how this turned out. Now you can see how. It goes right down to the water. And as that water level fills up, the water's gonna come up to about here. It'll be a little bit buoyant, but not a lot. And I don't think it's really sitting on the bottom yet. I don't know if I need to do that or not. If I don't. Yeah, it's on the bottom. So it's not that deep right there. But it will be deep. Eventually the water will be up to here. So now we have a place for ducks and turtles and frogs and all kinds of animals to show up and utilize this water source. So anyway, this is Pete from Intricate Nature and uh, just wanted to show you how the pond was coming along and putting in a little detail in there and changed out the bank right up here on the other side. And uh, you see it's almost to the top. Do you see the freaking edge of the band here? We're almost to the top right now. Won't be much longer. Be about like that. And I think it'll be probably filled by uh, April, I'm guessing. If you get a lot of rain this spring. Uh, I didn't, I laid the tarp, laid this out. In case you haven't watched anything else. I laid this out in uh, April. I dug it through the drought and the heat and the 200, 100 and degree temperatures and I dug this by hand with a shovel and a, a pickaxe and a, a rowbar and a tomahawk and a, and a uh, axe and I used some fire and I burned out some stumps and I moved giant boulders and a lot of the boulders you see on the edges and the stones all came out when I dug out the bottom. It's about six seven feet deep in the center and now we have a pond detail and that's good because now we have something for wildlife. I already have a track coming right through here for the deer coming up and drinking. Now we can include other wildlife into this pond and that's huge for our ecosystem. It completely changes the whole area up here. So anyway, this is Pete from Intricate Nature and this is my little uh, tiny pond off my tiny my tiny house off-grid pal cabin and this is my water supply. So uh, stay with me and I got some really cool stuff coming up. Appreciate you watching.